let's help Mr. Crocodile so that he can figure out which fraction's smaller and which is bigger. Let's compare two thirds and three fifths and see if we can help Mr. Crocodile figure out which fraction is bigger. You might reason that three is bigger than two, so three fifths must be bigger than two thirds. But this reasoning is wrong. Comparing these fractions on the fraction wall, you can see that three fifths is actually smaller than two thirds. The problem is we can only compare fractions directly by comparing their numerators when their denominators are the same. For example, three fifths is bigger than two fifths. If we don't have access to a fraction wall, then we have to find a different way of comparing two thirds and three fifths. This can be done by converting each fraction to an equivalent fraction, each of which has a common denominator. I'll show you one way to do this. First, I'll work out what the common denominator is going to be by multiplying the denominators of the fractions we're comparing. 3 times 5 is 15. Now, let's convert 2 thirds to an equivalent fraction that has fifteenths as the denominator. What do you have to multiply 3 by to get 15? 5. To make an equivalent fraction, whatever you multiply the bottom half of a fraction by, you also have to multiply the top half of the fraction by. 2 times 5 is 10. So 2 thirds and 10 fifteenths are equivalent fractions. Here are two ways of justifying what we've done. From our fraction wall, we know that 5 fifths is the same as 1 whole, or simply 1. So multiplying 2 thirds by 5 fifths is really just multiplying 2 thirds by 1. But we know that if you multiply any number by 1, you get the same number. For example, 4 times 1 equals 4. We get a number with exactly the same value. By the same reasoning, 2 thirds has the same value as 10 fifteenths. Another way to see this is using a diagram. Let's divide a rectangle up into thirds and colour 2 thirds of the rectangle yellow. Now let's see what 10 fifteenths looks like. The relative amount of yellow hasn't changed. So 2 thirds has the same value as, or is equivalent to, 10 fifteenths. Let's convert 3 fifths to an equivalent fraction with fifteenths as a denominator by the same method. What do you have to multiply 5 by to get 15? 3. To get an equivalent fraction, whatever you multiply the bottom half of a fraction by, you also have to multiply the top half of the fraction by. 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 fifths and 9 fifteenths are equivalent fractions. Now we can compare the numerators because the denominators are the same. 10 is bigger than 9. Or 10 fifteenths is bigger than 9 fifteenths. Which means 2 thirds is bigger than 3 fifths. Thank you.